Hey everybody, Max here for IGN, and I'm here with the legendary Jackie Chan. Jackie, Hello. thank you so much Hi. for coming by. This is this is huge. Uh, you have a new movie coming out very shortly called The Foreigner. Yes. Uh, this is uh, this is a very serious movie. This is this is considerably more uh, dark in tone than I think a lot of people are used to. Could you speak a little bit about what the film's about? It's a totally different Jackie Chan movie. It's not like it used to be happy-go-lucky comedy. It's totally different. I have a I'm so serious that nobody knows my background. And I was hiding in London, Chinese restaurant. Suddenly my daughter, something happened, get killed. And I just begging people to helping me, police department, uh, British government. Nobody just pay attention. They, they just don't worry, we can do it, we can do it. Who can do it? I do it myself, yeah. but they don't know what's my background. They thought I just like uh, ordinary people. Actually, I have a very secret background. I was a uh, army. I was trained trained for, by the Navy SEAL, and uh, I have a uh, my 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 wife get killed. My two daughter get killed by the pirates. And I'm hiding in London. I only one daughter. Now my last daughter gone. And you, you want to get him? You want to get? I want to get him. Just I want to get. I just want against. Just one. Just the one who, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Who put the ball? And you're acting opposite Pierce Brosnan, who plays a government guy who's just yeah. he's just being a politician. He yeah. doesn't want to let you. Let and you just seven years ago, I I, I I look at the script. I like it so much. I. <clears throat> I want to tell the audience I'm not only can do just rush hour one two three and 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 Shanghai noon Shanghai. I want I want to be a different. I want to show the audience different side of Jackie Chan. I'm not action star. Actually, actually I'm I can act. I want to be a true actor. Now you this is this isn't to say you're not going to be beating some people up and doing some doing some action stuff in this. But uh, I was reading you were saying that it's sort of it's sort of a closer. Uh, more more withdrawn kind of fighting style that your character has. Yeah, because this kind of fighting is different. It's not like a rush hour and you're jumping up and down. You just stick, boom, very, just very handsome. You know, after you fight, boom. You know, you can up and down, a lot of comedy. And uh, this kind of, I'm like a, I'm at like a 75, 70 years old, old guy. And I haven't fight so long. Then after I train back, and I fight, I use my skill, my, my, my technique, but I still tough. You know, you can see I'm brief. <sighs> but <clears throat> I have a very good background and I can use my things. It's different kind of fighting. It's not like a, all a bah, 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 bah. It's yeah. ta -da, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> just real fight. Yeah. Now, uh, this is this is interesting. It reminded me a bit of uh, of Taken, the the Liam Neeson movie. Yes. Because you're kind of you're you're a dad, and you're after the yes. you know, guy got your daughter. Uh, and it's also it's sort of akin to what like Stallone's done in, in more recent years, where it's kind of almost like it's almost like you're you're like you're tired. The problem just... is that all the action star, even Stallone, even Schwarzenegger, me. After we do so many action movie, everybody want to do some drama. Everybody want to show. Hey, we are not only can fight, we can be, a, we can act. The problem is sometimes the audience they just cannot accept it. They they just don't like it. Then after that we back to do action film, and but my experience, I watched all those years, action star life is so short. You know you just come and go, come and go. Just last ten years or twenty years gone, and Stallone, Schwarzenegger, me is still. It's a miracle. We still can doing because we change a lot. You can Stallone can do do boxing movie, <clears throat> Rocky, First Blood, and Cup. You have to keep on change. Then audience treat you is like an actor can fight. Me, all those years, everybody, uh, Jackie, Jackie Chan. See, every time when I see in the talk show. Oh, uh, press come from, ladies and gentlemen, ah, Jackie Chan. Why not just, welcome Jackie Chan. Welcome, nobody say Robert De Niro, <laughs> right? That's they, true, yeah. yeah. Let's welcome Robert De Niro. I just want one day the 
host, a talk show. Let's welcome Jackie Chan. It's not welcome yeah. a special Conan. <laughs> Every time. Ah, ja, Jackie well, I mean, there's a Chan. lot of stuff that stateside. You're you, you're a, you're a singer. You're a songwriter. You're a musician. Yes. Did you I try to do. As an actor, you have to be a multi-talent. So this is why I, I direct myself. I'm a choreograph. Uh, I'm a producer. I can be a cameraman. And also, I, I want to be a singer. I want to prove... <clears throat> I, have, I have a beautiful voice, too. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> thank you, God. Thank you. Uh, uh, but I like to sing my, my, my kind of song. So like... Like, you are always on my mind, you are always on my mind. Baby, I didn't love you. Be I like country song. <laughs> Why? Because like an angel. when I listen country song, I can, uh, I can learn English. Huh. Yeah. When I listen to hip hop, then training. Okay. Because okay. I, I cannot hear the lyric. But when I want to learn, English, just then I, I listen country song. Okay. Yeah. No, I've got to ask. This is it's it's good to see you doing doing dramatic, serious filmmaking. I'm also I, I love your I love your comedy. You're in, you're incredible at merging like action and comedy together. And what's interesting about this movie is again you've got these you, you're still fighting, you're still doing action scenes, but they are sort of like you know more more condensed, more s smaller scale. Do you think you could still do the same level of just brilliant kind of slapstick action comedy you've done on broader set pieces, but sort of scaled down? It depends what kind of script, what kind of movie. Yeah. Yeah, probably next year we're doing a Rush Hour 4. Then you can see different kind of fighting, different kind of skill. And when I look at my character, what different kind of character like Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Dawn, uh, Shanghai Night, uh, Rush Hour 1, uh, uh, Foreigner. You can see there's a different kind of action, different kind of skill. Uh, different kind of comedy. Mm, that's what I'm good for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now you you are a filmmaker. One thing you're famous for when you're making movies is just letting the cameras roll and just getting that perfect take. Uh, and when you started out with film, that was that was physical film. That that cost a lot of money. And now we've got digital. And I feel like filmmakers are almost almost wasteful with it. Yes. Are you? St are you <clears throat> the problem is right now when I see the young talent when they come out just like a digital. They, they don't know how expensive the film. In the old days, when we're f rolling, we, we, we have to concentrate to remember the dialogue, the take, and rolling, you can see the film, action. Everybody's so serious. And this day, just rolling. <laughs> 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 keep rolling, uh, keep rolling. It's uh, not, not respect enough. Mm. Not respect enough. Even now, the the young uh, entertainment business, young boy, even the cameraman, the prop guys, and they just so cheap. Yeah. All yeah. the yeah, not like an old day. Well, the other thing is is also uh, you've got the little tiny GoPro cameras, and then have have you thought about kind of doing these stuff? That... For me, every time I look at the the camera like this, I just I'm thinking about when I was. We use uh, oh, the old camera, so heavy, you know, this big. Later on, uh, Ari, then later on, uh, Technovation, Panavation, and slowly, now, this is small. <laughs> and filming, even use uh, the, the, the iPhone or, or, or any phone, you, 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 can, you can make a movie. It's just so lucky, the, the young generation right now, everybody know how to editing. And they just so lucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Poor, poor me. <laughs> yeah, we, we use a cheap camera equipment and you, cheap life, jump to the building, risk our life with making a film. These days, everybody can make a film. Become a director, the green screen, back screen, with computer graphic. And wow, so lucky. Now, in, in one of your recent movies, it was a Kung Fu Yoga, you were driving around in a car with a lion in the back. Yes. Um, I don't think that was a real lion. No. Uh, we, we, we shoot a lion in one place. <laughs> uh, we shoot me in one place. One day, the director put the lion on, on, the, on the car. The Jackie, go in. I said, no. <laughs> I'm not going to. I just sit there just one second. Boom, you just run away. <laughs> you just feel the heat. You, oh. 
He's like, ah, you just, yeah, how can you concentrate to drive? I love, I love how they, they could be doing the entire thing with CG at a completely yeah. fake line, but they still make you get in the car with a lion. You have to feel, feel it. Feel, feel the lion. <laughs> and they, don't worry, Jackie, the lion is so good, they train. I saw the documentary how the bear killed the people, <laughs> and how the lion killed the people. They train. <laughs> but it just, I, I tried so many times. I see, I was in Africa, we filmed the lion. Okay, I feel with the lion later on, cut, I'm finished. They single, they shoot the lion. We eating outside, lunchtime. Everybody are walkie-talkie. They're suddenly, suddenly walkie-talkie. Lion's gone! We like this, boom! <laughs> In one second, everybody gone, disappear. <laughs> we, we actually, we have the fan to shoot the lion. Suddenly, somehow, the lion crashed the fan, run out, and we, <laughs> in the motorhome, everybody eating outside. One second, lion's gone. Boom, gone. Well, yeah. yeah, we might see you jumping off of buildings and yeah. stuff, but you still know to run away from a lion. Uh, Jackie, I'm so glad you're, you're continuing to try new things. You're in serious movies, you're in Lego Ninjago, you're doing more and more stuff that we love you for. Uh, is there ever a chance we're gonna see you in one of these, these big cinematic universes we see left and right, like a Marvel movie or a Star Wars or a Fast and Furious? I want to do these kind of things. No director hired me to do these kind of things. Huh. I want to do a like Legoland, uh, uh, like La La Land. Oh. Uh, I want to do a song of the music. I want to do a purple. I want to do the, the slow motion in the beach, kissing and with a song. Nobody hire me to do this kind of movie. Everybody That's... hire me fighting, action, uh, no special effect. Uh, back, I'm backing some director, hire me becoming a Batman or su uh, a Spider-Man, you know? <gasps> Cut, then cartoon, then coming back. <sighs> well, they keep, they're going through Spider-Man pretty quickly. I mean, they had a 15-year-old, but he's gonna be out of there in no time, so you can be next in line for that, I guess. But I, nobody hire me to do these kind of things. I, I like to do so many. So many different. I want to see. I want to see you in there. I want to see you. And I want to see you with the Marvel. I want to see you with the Star Wars. I want to see you up and just fighting superheroes. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, Jackie, thank you so much thank for coming so by. Much. Uh, the Foreigner's out October thirteenth in theaters. So go see it. Go check it out. And uh, it's Jackie Chan, everybody. Thank you for support all those years. Thank you. Thank you. Hey everybody, that was a fun conversation I had with Jackie Chan. We've had some other cool guests on Up at Noon. We also had Alan Tudyk, who played K2SO in Star Wars Rogue One, as well as Dimitri Martin, a very cool stand-up comedian, talking about his movie, Dean. Go check those out.